Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a video. It started off with a look. I wanted to do something and I didn't like how it came out, so I had to work my magic and figure something out, but I honestly like um, my final product. I think it came out beautifully. Yes, I like it. This is something I honestly would wear at a barbecue or anywhere, honestly, to work. Cause it's just like so soft and fluffy um, and like very welcoming and summerish to me. <laughs> Honestly, I'd wear it every single day, I ain't gonna lie. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it makes sense because I messed up. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. We'll just, we'll figure out how this video will go. But I hope you guys enjoy it. See you guys, bye. <laughs> okay, so I got some inspo on Pinterest today and I was looking over Kylie Jenner's like Instagram pictures and I'm like, okay, I really like how her makeup comes out because it's very like subtle, but like bomb. There's a tint of yellow in her inner corners, but since I'm wearing a little bit of pink, I thought I would do pink instead of uh, yellow. You know, why not? So I'm gonna be going in with the Jaclyn Hill Palette Volume Number Two. This bad boy right here. Yes, we're gonna be using these pinks down here. To learn how to navigate, um, and just going in with her nudes because um, in her makeup look, her eyeshadow was very like very natural and just soft. And then that ba-boom is the pink that I'm gonna be doing. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna be going in with, this is a Morphe R39 brush. It's a big fluffy brush. And I think the first thing I'm gonna go into is um, Perfectionist in the palette. Tap off the excess and I'm just gonna go right in y'all tint because she doesn't really have much on her eyelids she mainly has it in her inner corner just because that's so pigmented and like such a bright color like that it already looks good in itself I'm probably gonna pick up just a darker tone and I'm gonna be going in with this fluffy brush it's an elf fluffy eye blender brush and it looks like this and I'm probably gonna be going into a uh, comfort zone. Kinda like that color. Just because it's in the natural nude colors. And I'm gonna be applying this literally to my outer corner. And then once that's applied, with a like smaller tapered brush, I'm gonna be going in into a darker color of browns and I'm gonna go into G Money. This is gonna be literally like the easiest makeup look I've ever done. Um, now I'm just gonna see what color pink I want because my shirt has a little bit of pink on it and it's more of like a purplish color. It's more of a purplish color, y'all. I've never played with purple. Oh, I just scratched myself. Okay, so I think, I think I'm gonna do the purple. Now I'm a little nervous, y'all, because I just don't know how she does it. Cause this is like a nude color. I don't know. What do I have to lose, right? To add a little bit of purple in there. I don't have anything to lose. Now the question is, I wish I could literally like show you and you guys can point out what color to use. Or should I just look at my shirt? <laughs> okay, so. I think, I think, I think I'm gonna be going in with this. Um, it's called Therapy Sesh. It's gonna be this purple right here. That's the color I'm gonna be going in. And I'm gonna be applying it with a, a Morphe brush. It doesn't have a number, but it's honestly just a flat brush. Um, so again, I'm gonna be going into Therapy Sesh and I'm just gonna be applying it into my tear ducts, inner corners. I don't know, we gonna play with it because I'm nervous. Ooh, I don't play with colors. I don't play with colors. It's a little nerve wracking for me. Can you guys see it? <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. Hmm. What if I went in with the darker purple? It says, not my journey. That's a darker purple. It looks like a purple eye. Why did I do purple? <laughs> okay, I hated it. Um, focus, camera, focus on me. 
There you go. I hated the purple. We're not gonna do purple. Nope. I'm so glad for wipies because you guys, this was not my jam. Don't, don't, mm -mm, don't follow Pinterest or whatever it was. <laughs> what sucks is that I just took off some makeup, like my foundation that I was using, but we're gonna pat that dry. And we're gonna continue, because you know what? I um I need to post a video. So what we going to do is we're gonna I don't know what we're gonna do yet. Hold on. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the crease now and I'm gonna be going in with my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. And then this is in the color medium beige. And I don't even like to take out the whole stick because there's a lot of product already on the stick itself. Okay, so, and I'm just gonna be applying it to my eyelid and cutting. I like saw Manny MUA do this where he applied it to his lash line and then he looked up. And that's where you know where to cut your crease. Which was genius. That was, that was really smart, to be honest. So we're gonna blend that out. Okay, cool. So while that is done, we're gonna work on the other. You guys, okay, it, was start, it started off really, really bad. And now we're getting somewhere. Okay, now that my, um, my eyelids or my cre my creases are not that I cut my crease, dude. I couldn't speak. I'm gonna be going in with the color. Ooh, I kind of like Drama Queen. Ooh, I really like Drama Queen. Okay, so we're gonna be going in with the color Drama Queen. It's right here. It's a pretty, like, pretty pinkish tone. I really like bougie too, but Drama Queen is. Drama Queen is talking to me today. So I'm gonna be going in with that brush that I just put my concealer on with because I wiped it off on my um, my wipey and it was wet. So I like to apply like glitter textured eyeshadow on wet and I'm just gonna be applying that to my eyelid. I love the tint of pink on this. So I applied the, I'm looking down so you guys could see it. I applied different um, eyeshadows. I applied the Drama Queen, the Bougie, and the Riot or Diamonds together. Just because I didn't feel like it was very like, it's pigmented, but I wanted it to be like a bold, like ba bow and usually I, usually I go in for like the golds and this time I went in with like the pinks. If I would have gone in with the GRWM, that would have been good, but I'm doing something different. So why not? Um, what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm wiping down this brush so I can go in with um, Homeboy. Oh, I really like that name, Homeboy. And I'm gonna just be applying this to my underlash and dragging that out. Now I'm gonna be going in with my um, Maybelline Master, uh, my Masterpiece, I think, in black. It's pretty old, so the name isn't on there anymore. Okay, so, we're gonna be doing our wing eyeliner, and you're gonna get, uh, you just know what to do with the wing eyeliner. And what I noticed that she does is her wing eyeliner is very subtle, it's not like, Look at me now, which is hard with a felt pen eyeliner. Like, honestly, that's what she would do. She, like, I've seen her pictures and it's so subtle, I don't understand. Okay, so I'm gonna do my other eye off camera. Okay, so I did my eyeliner off the camera and this is what it came out to look like. It's very subtle, very like, Barbecue vibes. Um, I just feel like since we're with our family all the time, while well, I'm with my family all the time, this is something I would do. Um, just because I don't do my makeup every single day. What I'm gonna do now, um, I'm gonna be curling my lashes and applying some falsies. Um, I'm gonna be applying my Ardell's to 
31 Studio Effect eyelashes. And these are like my to-go-to, um, just because they're really light. They don't feel like you have much on your eyeballs. You know what I mean, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna be applying this off camera and I'll be back with some eyelashes. I'll be back. Quarantine has me doing some crazy things. Um, you know what I'm missing though? Before I ended the freaking video, I'm all I caught it this time. I need lipstick. Ooh, this quarantine thought, they thought it was funny. It wasn't, I wasn't gonna catch no lipstick on, what the heck? Okay guys, this is the final look. I applied my falsies um, and I'm very happy with it just because it's so subtle, it's so soft. It's um, something that you could wear out every single day but also like barbecues and then obviously if you're going out for the night you wanna darken it up, you know. But I like it so far. It started off on a rocky start because uh, you'll see the bloopers but I'm very, very happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep on watching, please like subscribe either I don't know what corner it's gonna be on comment let me know what you guys are doing for quarantine because your girl's going crazy but I I think it's gonna like end on the 15th which sucks because my birthday's on the 9th <sighs> it's okay I'm alive and healthy that's all I care about I hope you guys enjoyed this video see you guys next time bye okay so a uh, first thing first on the real list I'm just kidding okay hold on. first thing is I need to bring this chair up Maybe like that. Yeah, like that. Now I'm gonna be applying this. Should I be applying this to my crease? Should I be applying this to my eyelid? Hold on, hold on. What am I gonna be applying this to? I need to figure this out. So I don't know if you guys could tell. Maybe you can, this lighting.